unless you are shopping for a used Ford Fusion. Ignore our equipped with a 1.6-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder EcoBoost engine. That engine won't be installed in any Fusion after 2014, having been quietly replaced by the 1.5-liter EcoBoost 4-cylinder, which is the focus of this test. So starting in 2015, the shuffle leaves the non-hybrid Fusion with three engine choices. A 2.5-liter 4 that comes with the S and C. That's standard on the top shelf, titanium trim and optional on the C. And the C is available 1.5-liter EcoBoost. So what happened to the 1.6L EcoBoost? When you it and the 2.0L were paired with automatic transmissions, while the 1. 6L lost its automatic option and was restricted to the Fusion family's loan manual, which is also gone for 2015. The move was designed to free up more 1. 6 engines for the Escape. Also, the 1. 5L just so happens to slide the Fusion into a friendlier tax bracket in the Chinese market. Happily, despite giving up 97 CCS. 0. 1 liter of displacement the old 1.6L, the 1.5L makes 3 additional horsepower and 1 more pound-feet of torque. For totals of 181 and 185, the only caveat is that the 1.5 liters peak horsepower and torque are produced higher in the rev range, meaning that the engine has to spin a bit faster to get there. That may help explain how the more powerful 1. 5-liter fusion ends up being 0. 1 second slower to 60 mph 8. 2 seconds total and 0. 1 second slower through the quarter mile 16. 3 seconds at 85 miles per hour than the 1. 6-liter fusion. Working through the same 6-speed automatic transmission with an identical final drive ratio. No less. Around town, there isn't much gusto in the lower portions of the tack but the 1.5-liter spins up in linear fashion and never